If you are having such problem and if you develop muscle weakness either in the upper limbs or in the lower limbs, it's an important problem because if this weakness progresses and completely paralyzes your arm or leg, even if you operate on your spinal cord, it will not come back to normal. In next gen neurosurgery, today we are discussing a different aspect of spinal cord compression. As we all know, due to the disc diseases or many other causes lead to spinal cord compression as well as nerve root compression. If you are having such problem and if you develop muscle weakness either in the upper limbs or in the lower limbs, it's an important problem because if this weakness progresses and completely paralyzes your arm or leg, even if you operate on your spinal cord, it will not come back to normal. So if you are a patient who has spinal cord stenosis and having uh, muscle weakness or limb weakness, you will have to consult your neurosurgeon or the doctor quickly and uh, sort out this problem as soon as possible before it get aggravated. If you come to a neurosurgeon with a difficulty in walking or arm weakness with a spinal cord compression, we will offer you surgery as early as possible and decompress the spinal cord so that your weak muscles can be uh, cured by exercises and rehabilitation after the surgery. So this message should be very clear for you to understand the dangerous symptoms of spinal cord compression. <music>